What's good? It's Sam here. And uh, I wanted to talk about how, um, how I maintain a low carb diet all the time. Um, I feel like I get some animosity or a lot of excuses or challenges when I tell somebody that. I generally have very low carbs every day. Um, I might have a spike, you know, once every week or once every, you know, two weeks uh, in terms of the carbohydrates, in terms of one day or one meal within one day. But I wanted to talk about how I did that in terms of having low carbohydrates. So as a foundation, uh, what I do for my meals every day, and uh, by the way, if you're just watching it for the first time, make sure you press that red button that says subscribe, do it now, and that little bell. What that little bell is gonna do is, is gonna present this awesome face to you every time I post a video. It's gonna be in your feed or on your phone, and what possibly could be better than looking at this face every day? Anyways, foundation is, I generally speaking, will have two to two and a half pounds, probably two and a half pounds worth of meat per day. Uh, in the neighborhood of three to 350 grams of protein per day. And originally, a few years ago, I would crave carbs or want carbohydrates in my, uh, in my diet all the time. And, and then I would like go low carbs. Uh, oh, and then, so I have like two and a half pounds of meat and then, um, just a bunch of vegetables. So I'll do like five different types of vegetables. So I'm not talking about just eating copious amounts of vegetables so you're all bloated. What I'm talking about is eating the vegetables so I can get uh, a lot of micronutrients. So I will have the two pounds of meat during the day. I'll have like a pound and a half of chicken and a pound of like ground beef or ground turkey or something like that. And uh, some bacon, generally diced up to saute it with it and then I'll put onion in there, I'll put garlic in there, uh, I'll put parsley in there, uh, hummus, uh, I'll put hum some hummus in there, tomatoes, I really enjoy tomatoes, sometimes I do bell peppers. I try to have at least five vegetables. So I'll use basil, uh, oregano, um, and, and I try to use a bunch of herbs as well. So at a minimum, I want five different types of vegetables. So what that does is just adds in a bunch of the micronutrients that I'm not gonna get from consuming the same fucking thing every single day. So I'm constantly switching up the vegetables. Uh, the garlic and onions, I will tend to keep those in there almost all the time just because they're so tasty. Um, but if sometimes I don't have tomatoes, sometimes I'll have uh, bell peppers, sometimes I'll have something else. Uh, spinach is delicious, kale is delicious. Um, so sometimes I'll have those. Or what else do I put in there? I'm trying to think. Um, those are the common things that I use though. Oh, peas. I use peas. Sometimes I use Brussels sprouts. Uh, but those, anyway, so that's what I'll have. And I don't have any carbohydrates other than the vegetables. Unless you count the, I, a lot of times when I go to the gym, I'll have two cups of milk. Um, and that has, uh, I think it's three, uh, three grams of um, carbs per serving of milk, which is one cup, and I have two cups, so that's six grams of carbs. Plus, I think there's two grams or three grams per scoop of protein. So maybe have 10 grams of carbohydrates for my protein shake. Um, and then, and then I, I'm not like opposed to eating carbs, I just don't need them. I, that's at least how I feel. And, and how I transition to that, to have low carb practically every single day. And then on the weekend, sometimes I'll have some carbs or whatever. Uh, like yesterday, I had some sweet potatoes for dinner. I had maybe like half of a sweet potato or a quarter of a sweet potato um, last night with some chicken and spinach and um, garlic. Anyways, to get on topic, how I did that was I changed the mindset in terms of saying that I didn't like what I was eating, you know, where like I'm eating a fuckload of chicken. I'm like, oh man, this is a pain. So I changed it up and I started adding in ground turkey and ground beef. Um, so it, it helped with the flavor. And then uh, I was like, oh man, it changed. And then I would be good with it for a little bit longer, but then I would still go back to carbohydrates sometimes. And then 
what I did was I just started trying to make it taste better. And um, the all the herbs and vegetables, uh, the primary reason was to actually add in micronutrients. A byproduct of adding in all those vegetables and herbs, so a lot of times they'll be like five vegetables and, um, and you know, two to four different herbs in there. And, and that uh, the byproduct of adding in all the extra micronutrients is that the fucking food tastes better. And when you like what you're eating on a daily, um, makes it easier to eat a copious amount of fucking protein. Like, just makes it easier. Tastes fucking delicious. Tastes delicious. Um, and that's how I'm able to eat pretty much the same thing all the time is because it tastes fucking delicious. And I'm constantly changing up the vegetables and the herbs or um, what I'm what I'm putting in. Oh, I also use crushed red pepper in there, paprika, cumin. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else that I'm missing. Himalayan sea salt. Um, I use garlic salt as well. Depends on what I'm doing. Uh, also, I use some cheese, uh, Parmesan I like. And I'll use that sauteed with them. But anyway, it just tastes delicious. So that's why I added the bacon in. Bacon, I like bacon. Bacon's good. And low carbohydrates. So I don't mind the fat or the actual calories. Um, and I, the bacon adds a ton of flavor. So I started out with six pieces of bacon, two per meal. So during, a lot of times I either don't have breakfast or I'll have uh, a protein shake. Uh, at the gym and that it's kind of breakfast and then around nine o'clock I'll have breakfast because I'll get up at six um, and then I'll have another one closer to noon and then another one mid-afternoon depending how the day is and then I'll eat dinner later on so um, taking the it just got really dark because that tunnel so completely lost my train of thought but um, having more delicious food makes it way easier to be consistent with it and because my food tastes good I also change my mindset from oh man I have to eat more of these fucking chicken it tastes good like I fucking love my food it tastes fucking delicious and I don't mind at all and I'm not craving you know carbohydrates whatsoever another thing that I did as a as a treat for myself, I changed my mindset again, was instead of having um, something other than like water, what I do is I just have plain seltzer water, carbonated water. Like, it tastes good to me. I like it. And I changed it in my mind from like wanting, say, some type of other type of drink um, where I didn't necessarily know what was even in it. And, and I even, and that was even a process. So I started, um, and I would buy, like, I cut it into my budget so that instead of having some other type of thing that has carbohydrates in it, I would go to Costco and I'd get cases of, um, the energy drinks and I just cut something else out so that I could put in $30 a week to buy energy drinks. And I cut out, I don't remember what it was, but I cut out something else so I could put the energy drinks in there. And I did that for a few months. And I was like, this, I should probably change this up somehow to make this even better. So then I stopped doing that for a few weeks or a month. And then I added in um, carbonated water, um, the flavored carbonated water. And then I, and I did that for a few months. And then I was like, I should probably change this out because that flavoring probably has other garbage in there that we don't know the side effects of it in terms of the long use, in terms of consuming, you know, if I'm consuming six cans a day or three or four cans a day, um, I don't know what those natural flavorings, the, the side effect are though, when you're consuming it consistently at large quantities. So I changed it to just the carbonated water without anything else in there. Anyway, this video has gone a lot longer than I was expecting. If you have any questions about any of this, let me know down below in the comments. If there's any way I can help at all with your, if you have any questions about your diet or trying to reach your goals, let me know down below in the comments. I'm happy to help out. and. If you want to uh, reach out without being in the comments, swing over to Instagram. It's at sam.stolt and shoot me a DM over there and I will get back to you. Peace.